Hey there, if you're doing any kind of video using your smart device or thinking about doing video, then this episode is for you. Because I'm going to share with you three things that many agents don't know about. The first is how to do a basic trim on your phone using the dedicated app that you have. The second is I'll do an overview of what a video editing software looks like on your phone. And thirdly, I'm going to share with you three of what I think are the best video apps on the market today. Hey, it's Michael Creasy here, the executive editor with Agent Inner Circle from agentinnercircle.com and welcome to this week's episode and it's about video. And I just want to give you a crash course, an overview of some of the things that you need to know when it comes to editing. And as I mentioned in the introduction, the first thing we'll do is do a basic trim, which many realtors don't realize they can do. I'll do an overview of an editing app and then I'll share with you the three apps that I think are just awesome. And speaking of awesome, please give us a like and share, leave a comment below and as I said, share this video share the love okay let's get started so the first thing is let's find a video clip so here I am on my iPhone I'll tap on camera and then bottom right hand corner let's open up my folder and here's a video and I can tell it's a video because there's the little video player in the middle the little play button Android people it's going to be similar but your folder will be I believe your photo uh, folder so it's under photos and in uh, iMovie it's under uh, your camera roll so what I want to do now is at the top where it says edit I'm going to touch that and watch what happens now notice when I do there's all these little video clips or little images at the bottom and then a big uh, picture in the middle well on the bottom that's actually your video and when a video is shot it's actually little frames with sound so the moving picture and sound and as I move this white line that's called the playhead, watch what happens. I'm using my finger and I'm dragging it across. And wherever I drag that, that's where the video is going to start above. Notice that as I drag this along. So obviously what I would do is if I wanted to trim this, I would play the video and let's pretend it's shaky at the beginning and it's a bit shaky at the end. Well, I would find where that spot is by dragging it with my finger. Now watch what happens when I touch that little chevron. So notice it turns yellow and as I drag it to the left, I'm actually trimming off bits of the video. So maybe I want it to start right here. And let's pretend at the end it was kind of shaky. I'll do exactly the same thing. I'll hold that chevron, but now I'm pulling it to the left with my finger instead of to the right. And notice I'm trimming off bits at the end. So basically, what you're going to do with this, this trimming process, is to get rid of bits at the beginning and bits at the end. But what this is also uh, really good for is let's pretend maybe this is a one minute or a two minute video and you want to extract a sound bite. Maybe there is a point uh, of that video. In this case, she's giving a lecture. This is Talene, who's a rock star when it comes to uh, Instagram. And so maybe there's just one little point there. So I would play the video to the point where she starts and then exactly the same thing i would drag the yellow plate and the yellow bar the chevron to the point where i want it to be trimmed and then i would drag it from the right to the left to the point where i want it to end so i've literally created a little video clip and when i'm happy with this i can hit play to review it if people like you okay so let me pause that and let's pretend yep that's exactly what i want well then the next thing is i would hit the little button in the bottom right hand corner that says done and when i do that it will now say, hey, do you want to cancel this or save it as a new clip? Well, I would save it as a new clip. And what will happen is I'll have a brand new little video. The original one that we shot is okay. That, that will never change. We can't wreck it by doing this trimming. So you'll have the original clip. But now by saving this as a new clip, I also have this mini clip that we've extracted. So that's basically how you do a trim, a basic trim. Now let me open up a video editor and I'll show you some basics on how a video editor works on your mobile device. So here I am back on the home screen of my uh, Apple phone here. I've got a, an iPhone 8 Plus and I'm looking for the little tab here that says, or the little icon that says iMovie. And I'm going to tap that. And it opens up this screen here and I'm looking for the big plus sign. That's a, a new project. And you'll notice all these other little projects. These are videos that I've already created that I can go back in and edit. But we're creating something new. So I'll hit the tab there. It says movie. And from movie, I'm going into my camera roll to find a video. And let's use that same one with Talene. And I'm going to select that and now create a movie with it. 
And so now here you can see it's similar to what we saw earlier with trimming. I've got the big video on the top, that's the preview screen, and down below is what's called the timeline. And when I tap on the bottom with my finger, same like in the trimming window, I can just drag this wherever I want, and that white line there, that's the playhead, that's whatever wherever the video lines up on the playhead you see above. Okay, so if I wanted to do some basic trimming, it would be exactly like we did, we did before. I would first tap this video. I tap it and see how it turns yellow. And then as before, I would drag it from the left. And if I wanted to trim off from the end, I would drag it from right to left. So same thing, trimming. If I wanted to add some text, for example, maybe I want to add my name. If I tap on the T, it opens up a whole menu of different text options here and you can just tap that. I can center it, I can lower it wherever I want that to be. And this is really cool in terms of what it does. So I can add text. If I hit the little music icon there, I can adjust the volume if it's not loud enough. I can also add music to this. So this is basically how a video editor works. I can also add some effects to the video. Maybe I want to change the way it looks by tapping on these different color schemes down here at the bottom. All right, and that's the editor, a very basic video editor. So let's get back out of here to the beginning. And I can hit play by just dragging this. If I hit the play button, you can review it. So again, basic video editor, I added a black and white effect. I can add text. Now I'm, I'm doing this very quickly. I, I hope you realize that. I'm just giving you a quick introduction, but this is a very powerful app. It's called iMovie. Now iMovie is really great on your iPhone. It comes free, but it's very limited in terms of what it can do. And Android people, you're asking, well, Michael, I don't have an iPhone. What do I use? Well, let's get out of here for a second. Let me pause the screen and I'll introduce you to a few apps that I think are really good. Now, if you're an Android user, the one of the apps that I really like for Android is one called Cyberlink Power Director. And you want to make sure you find the mobile app, Cyberlink Power Director. Now, they also have a desktop app which is kind of powerful. But for now, we're just focusing on the things I can do on my phone. Very similar to iMovie, but it gives you so much more control. I can actually, with my finger, drag exactly where I want the text to be and all the special effects. It's really cool, and it's uh, it's about $40, I believe, a year. Most of these apps are about the same. They used to be a one-time pay, but they've switched over. Now they either want you to pay monthly or yearly. Cyberlink Power Director is an awesome app for Android. But one of my real all-time favorites is this one here, and it's called KindMaster. KindMaster. And the reason I like this one so much is because it works on both Apple, meaning iOS, and a Android devices. So let's say I've mastered this app, and I've got really good at it, and I'm trading in my iPhone, and I'm switching to an Android. Or maybe I'm going from an Android to an iPhone. Well, once I've mastered kind master it works exactly the same on both devices exactly the same this is my all-time uh, personal go-to uh, when i'm doing mobile editing I, iMovie is a great basic one just to kind of start off with but in terms of having complete control and flexibility this is the way to go now two options one is you can download this onto your ios or android for free and when you do a video, it's going to have the little watermark. It's going to say Kind Master on your video. But for now, just to have something to practice on, that's okay. Once you pay for the app, which I believe is about $4 a month or $40 for the year, it unlocks all the features. There's uh, additional libraries of music that you can access and special effects. It's really, really cool. So Kind Master, that's one that I highly recommend.